Hi guys, welcome back to Dishonored. Last time we left off, we took care of the Pendleton twins and we saved Emily. So she's with us now. I am very excited to continue playing today. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. Who are we talking about? Okay. Oh, hello. To think Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. For one so steeped in courtly manners, his thoughts do linger long on revenge and murder. Mm. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, <laughs> always in the shadow. Not anymore. He is prone to skin infections. His eyes are sensitive to the light. Okay, good to know. Pendleton ships come back from the Pandisian continent, crowded with poor, frightened captives. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it. Mm. aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Okay. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. I suppose this means I'll have to have children, or else recognize one of my bastards. Oh, God. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. Mm-hmm. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. Who's that? I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw yeah. her get stabbed, oh. but mm. maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in this smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. <laughs> I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Yeah, Samuel's cool. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here. But I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. Hey, Wallace. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. Why? I must fetch the mourning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. Hmm. If only there had been another way. All right, my <laughs> Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, mm -hmm. but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, okay. and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, 
taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it. God, Piero and Sokolov in the same place. <laughs> Gamble's journal. It's amazing how many overseers he's been blackmailing. It really is the key to the Abbey. Quite a bloodbath at the Golden Cat. Well, at least it will strike some fear into those who oppose us. The city is better off without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts Sokolov's long enough for us to make things right again. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. Mm -hmm. You showed skill in dealing with the Pendletons. I'm impressed. When a fight starts in a brothel, well, I've seen it go poorly. You know Sokolov, don't you? Yeah. They say genius and madness are so finely balanced in his personality that no one can tell the difference. <laughs> Sokolov's on the bridge right now, but he's given to late-night wanderings. Best to move as soon as possible. He's one of the keys to this puzzle, to putting things right. If we could bring him to our side, think what he and Piero could accomplish together. Yeah, okay. We'll see, we'll see. Hi, Lydia. I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. Really? Do you? I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. <laughs> you... You really want to be in there, don't you? <laughs> I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. You startled me. You moved so silently, you could have been a dancer. <laughs> a night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. Probably not. Oh, so we have to press Y. It won't tell us. But then how do I know if my once adrenaline is maxed out? How am I supposed to know that? You've been asked to abduct Anton Soklov, the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Soklov the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally and one of most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Caldwin's Bridge. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Yes, I'm ready to go. Sokolov, the royal physician. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go find Sokolov, the royal physician. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Baldwin Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Mm -hmm. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? Yeah. That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Okay. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Okay. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Yep. Turn off those floodlights, then grab Mr. Sokolov and whatever else you need. I smell bones in the pylons, blood beneath the stone blocks. Men died building this structure. I would like to go in there. There's usually good stuff. There's usually good stuff here. There's nothing. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, there's nothing here. <laughs> I 
think there's a rune there. Warehouse key. Ooh, boot stuff one. What does this do? This opens the... Oh, okay. I thought it was going to open that. Why do I want to open that? <laughs> oh, so if I hold A, I jump higher. Oh. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought someone saw me. Now what happens? Oh, okay. Right. What does this do? Will this take me will this take me in there? Yeah. Um oh I can slow down time. they won't see me. Alright, there's the rune up there. Oh, there's a guy there. So I can't press Y. Okay. Um. Shit. Shit. What are you doing? Why are you coming in here? <laughs> uh. Oh, there it is. No so, pedestrian movement how am I supposed to get? Bridge during this period. How am I supposed to get in there? At All right. Um, I will get my rune. I will get what's mine. Did I do it? I was trying to do the drop assassination. Are you like aren't you like the only guy left? You'll keep running if you know what's good for you. Oh shit. We know you're here. Huh. I bet we'll see that guy again. Can't stay hidden forever. You got lucky. Got a prowler. Oh. <coughs> huh? Shit. Better make a pass over here. Someone help me out. I can't do the I can't do the assassin. I tried to do the Y move, but I, I don't know how to do it. Okay, I just looked up adrenaline and apparently there's no meter, but apparently when it's full, your screen goes red and fuzzy. And a lot of people are saying it's useless as well. Um, but it doesn't, and it only lasts for a little bit of time. So I don't know. I think I might just leave it. I'll keep my eye out, obviously, for the redness. They, they say when it happens, you'll know. But yeah, I don't think the power is really what I thought it would be. It's just, I mean, you don't want the game to be, you don't want anything to be OP, obviously, because it doesn't, it can un um, unbalance the game. I understand that, but 
Yeah, I don't think it's very useful, unfortunately, from what I read. Let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm missing something. Because I would like to know. Oh, I've got the key for this place. I've already been here before. Because, yeah, they said that if you kill enough people, I kill, I kill enough people. I kill everyone. <laughs> so I would have thought that my adrenaline would have, I, I would think it would have happened to me already, you know? What's down here? Citizens and visitors okay, the rune is here, but I can't get it. Okay, that's forward. So, I think if we go down here... I think if we go down here, we'll come across the rune down here. Oh, there's people there. Yes! Awesome. Alright, so one of five here. So we have two runes now. So dark vision would be really good to upgrade. We can do that. Eight runes for this. I think we'll leave that for now. That's fully maxed out. We need three for the. I think we should do dark vision. We use it all the time. And then it will be fully leveled up. Awesome. Okay, I think we can move on now. Go to Drawbridge Way. Yes. Sure. Well now. Wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can count on even in time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov, he's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul smelling as a witch's bottle. The royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man. Alright. I don't think there's anyone else. Yeah, oh wait. Yes, there is. Okay. Alright. Can't relax just yet. Yes. Come on, sextant. Ooh, yes! Any more sacred passageways? Come on, do a hundred dollars. All right, let's go up first. So that's really cool. Dark Vision shows us valuables now. 
that's awesome. What's going on here? And consumables. Pratchett's, Pratchett's reminder. Remember that the truth is in the paintings. Oh, okay. The way of, of the to the truth starts in the crowded streets. Continue and continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse, and the truth will be okay. So, what the paintings? So, painting of a car, a crowded street, an anchored whaling ship. Okay. But where do we is that here is that in here a note house is it his safe code is here. oh okay cool i love a good old code hunt all right so we have three again cool is that one that should be one that looks like it's something that's anchored yeah Seven. Okay. So is that the first number or? Okay, so this is the second number. All right, seven. Slaughterhouse. Three. So seven, three. And then we have a crowded street. There we go. So four, seven, three. Okay, it should be four, seven, three. Yes. Ooh. All right, so we have one rune. So that's two out of five, I think. I think we should subdue this guy. Is he going to hear us, though? Where is he? I can't see him. Where is he? Shit. Fuck, there he is. Alright. Let's, let's wait till he walks past. anyway I didn't make any noise <laughs> who is that what a loud mouth <laughs> shit dogs really Ugh. Some men mentioned that one of their friends got caught by the city watch and is in a cell somewhere nearby. That sucks for him, I guess. <laughs> Why do we care about that? We saw the I'm just joking. They're still there. Correct. Yes, the pilots are still there. So this is the prison. So this is the prison? Yeah, all right. Eventually. Sure. Maybe? He's the only one who could tell us. Oh no. Let him run in a cell a while longer. So can I talk to them or what? God. Um
How am I gonna do this? I mean, the dogs make things complicated, you know? Hey, you there! Show yourself! City Watch, wake up! We've got some low life breaking curfew! Huh. Show them all. Oh shit! Alright, well, let's watch them fight. What the fuck? What just happened? Alright, I'm going to see if I can talk to these guys. No, I can't. Okay. Alright, just kill me. Who is that? Can I talk to him? No. Alright. Oh. Yes. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into ruins and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Hmm. What kind of rituals is he performing? Alright, so how do I cross this place? Hmm. Rewire. I want to rewire it. Please, can I rewire it? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Shit. Ready? Now, you got your basic pair of two. Next comes the tall towers. Next, Captain's quarter. So far, I'm not an idiot. What's next? Then you got your Dunwall, and above that, the Royal Dunwall, which is what you had. A very good. Very... <laughs> oh, Incendiary bolts. Okay. Sploosh. Oh. 
Oh, they're up there. Okay, I was gonna say, who? Where's all that talking coming from? What the fuck? Oh, I thought he was like hooked up to that or something. I was like, what the fuck? I think he's looking at me, yeah? Yes, now he is. Alright, um, well now I can't get him. How many sleep darts do I have? Four. Um, I'm just gonna wait until he turns around and I can... Yeah. Is he gonna immediately turn around? Yes. <laughs> huh? No way! Uh, why did it that work there? Shit! I was worried that I was gonna land on that and break through. <laughs> Just leave the oil tanks be, or they'll break. Why they better put me with you? I just right, don't. Actually, dies. so is anyone gonna come up here or? All right, I think he's coming up. All right, sleep up. What happened? All right. Shoot. All right. Okay. No loot. Okay, that was really cool. That was that was really difficult, but it was really fun. Such a cool game. Like I love this game. I was gonna say it's been a long time since I've played a game that I love, but God of War, I think, it's the last game that I've loved. All right, so now we have to go back. How are you alive? Shouldn't that thing have been, okay. I love Blink, Blink is so fun, cool. Shit, no, 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 what are you doing? Um. I pressed assassinate. I mean, like, I wanted to put him. Shit. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna die. Motherfucker. 
No. Put the heart away. How are these people alive? Still. Shit, I should have been pressing Y. Oh, okay. Yeah, are there any more people? Can I press Y? No. How are they alive? They should all be dead. Here, key. Am I in a different area? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, ouch. Unconscious. Alright, um. Where's his hat? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. The crushed minerals, the farm animals, the vials of liquid mysteries. All these and more are necessary for his experiments. I don't have any more sleep darts. I'm gonna have to kill them. Cause this guy won't, this guy won't move. Mm. Push him out of the room. <laughs> oh, no! Wrong button. Alright. There you go. Small river cross spell. Ooh. Alex, note. Wait here and stay hidden until I come back. I have one last thing to do on the other side of the drawbridge. I need to deliver all these pearls we gathered to the boss tonight, so don't be messing around. If something goes wrong with the guards or if anything else happens, use the sink next to the building and speak loud. The boys will come running to help. There's nothing in the trash bins anymore. There was in the beginning of the game. But I must check just in case. Sokol's house. Yes. Right, we have three runes. Okay. I'm want I think maybe we should level up blink yeah I mean that makes the most sense like we use it all the time so level two rapid forward movement for a longer distance yeah all right let's do it yeah we had to do it we have to give blink some love Overseer's music note. Yesterday an overseer passed in the street near me, playing the strange music from the abbey. Beneath his mask I could not see his face as he turned the crank on his music oh no on his music box, but I could hear his voice muttering verses from the sacred text. Fear overcame me because it is forbidden to carry bone charms and similar such items for luck. The overseers are completely unforgiving in this matter. Gripping mine in my pocket, feeling its warmth, I walked with my head down. He was heading toward the royal physician's home, that shaggy Sokolov, and something odd occurred. I could swear the charm in my hand reacted to the overseer's music, growing cold. Some inner vibration seemed to go still. I found a box that is perhaps related to this and will study it so that I might understand. 
the ancient music. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Through Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. There's people here. Ah, oh, I can't go up. Yes. It's a bone charm there. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch out for glass. Yes, need that. What does this do? Shit. Shit. Um. I need to get rid of this guy. Right, I don't think there's anyone else around. How many rewiring things do I have? None. I have nine. Okay, yes, rewire. Kill everyone but me. Is that what that that's what that means, yeah? So I should be able to go through there. Yes, okay. Is someone around? Shit. Help me. Oh yeah, I'll I'll help. Hang on. Let me just get some stuff. Stuff, all this stuff. Is someone around? Help me. Okay, um. Find a way to keep these rats off me so that I can get out. Okay, I just did. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. There were rats. So many rats. Completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here. One of three. Your adrenaline takes slightly longer to cool down. <laughs> Tyrion's journal. I finally found a new place where I should be able to hide and survive for a long time if I stay quiet. The City Watch condemned the building, so this basement should be a safe spot. I have to believe that. Everything is going as I expected. The Watch patrols in the streets nearby, but they never enter this building. Food is the only problem, but I managed to steal some during the night. 
Someone else found this place and wants to share it. He has a strange amulet made of bone and he claims that it protects him from the plague. We'll see. Perhaps we can help each other, but I'm losing confidence in the odds of survival. Since he arrived, I've been having bad dreams and I don't feel really well. There's more and more rats in the building. Soon I won't be able to leave this shack, even if I want to. I'm starting to think that this amulet is cursed. To North End. Yes. How do I get in there? Oh, okay. How do I break that? A grenade won't. Oh, shoot it. Oh, no, crossbow. The Empress. <laughs> Two of three. Bolts stuck in enemies break less often. Okay. I haven't really gotten very many good ones lately. God, Bethesda does exploration so well. I mean Bethesda only produced this, I'm pretty sure. So I don't I don't think they developed it. Did you hear that? So Did you hear what those Madman Sokolov is going to do something terrible to us. prisoners or I didn't mean to kill the prisoners I just wanted to kill the guy oh yay I don't know who you are or why you did this for me but listen up on what used to be the third floor you'll see a painting I used to work there behind the painting there's a safe and the code is 294. Did you write that down, game? Yes, 294. <laughs> a woman freed from a wall of... Okay. Awesome. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome too, mate. <laughs> One hundred, one hundred. <laughs> meant to throw it in the fucking water. Oh yeah, you turned- I'm like, where'd the body go? <laughs> Silly. Rewire. This alarm has been deactivated. Awesome! Woohoo! I smell bones in the pylons, blood beneath the stone blocks. Men die building this structure. Dies. 
a dark circle. They're gonna see me up here. Surely no one will come here. Have any um I don't have any um sleeping darts either. Do that. I didn't want to do that. I just killed everyone. Just Shit! Hey, your music will not do Get anything to me. Uh, Idiot. <laughs> God. I did not want it to end up this way. Why did you make me? I don't know if I am. Um, uh, why did you make me kill you? The obtuse arguments of Lady Boyle. What a weird house. So I should be able to go through here, yeah? Oh god. That's... Yeah. 
Did you not hear all the commotion outside? I'm trying to assassinate you. <laughs> I mean... Oh shit, there's more. Okay. Before the plague turned everything to shit, Rudshaw was filled with baristas and money men rushing around taxing each other and whatnot. Every guard in the watch wanted that post and there were classy women everywhere. The whole place flooded years ago just as the plague got real bad. People were sick and nobody was working so the city let the dams go to rot. When the big one broke I've heard tell the river put it all under water. The swanky chamber of commerce was there and so was the bloody Greaves Whale House. Now there's nothing but rats and gangs and who knows what. Last I heard the captains had been using it as a quarantine for weepers. You show one sign of the plague and it's your citizen citizenship that has been revoked. Over the wall you go into the water. Grim. Very grim. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? One remedy left. Oh, uh, he needed the continent of Pandicia. Mysteries of Pandicia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder where all of life has intertwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, Talk of horror and heresies of cults of sub-men engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have travelled to the far continent and come back to the isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Uh, shit. Who's that? Pandesian. Oh. <laughs> Pandesian. Pandesian. Is it Pandesian or Pandesian? The bulk of the rodent is hardly the most interesting detail, though it is the one first remarked upon by visiting colleagues who come to study my prize from Pendicia. Upon further observation, it becomes obvious that this specimen exhibits greater cunning than its cousins, native to temperate Gristol. Twice in the night I have awakened to find it loose in my apartment, so a few cage, a new cage has to be devised, had to be devised. An entertaining diversion, what a waste of my precious time. The dietary tests I have conducted have also provided some surprise. The Pendician Pindis bull rat, I can say with confidence, is not a finicky eater. finicky eater. With equal gusto, I have seen my little guests dine upon other, smaller rats, living fe felines, and ew, and even the corpse flesh of a plague dead woman found in the Renhaven River. Further study is required. Oh my god, did it live living felines. Sleep darts, please. Mm. Just like what, two now? I'm guessing that's him. I need to deal with this guy. Nice. 
Why can't I go up there? Oh, because it's circular, maybe? Yeah. Alright, so he doesn't come all the way. Alright. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Awesome. Oh my god, does he have a prisoner? I'll turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Oh my god. Alright. So is she a weeper? No. How are you feeling? Much, much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Hush now. No one's going to die. You are much improved than the 312. The formula I administered is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet because I have not finished with my study. I want to hear what he says, but uh. The difference. Sorry. Real. There we go. <laughs> no. I can't talk to her. Oh, please, no more. I don't know what to do. Oh, yes. Five of five. Woohoo! Lieutenant Niles' report. As requested, this is a sample of the black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distil distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula, formula or even the PRA's remedy, but people are desperate. They have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have greater luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased this new and use this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications, so while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Skull, Skull's formula. Ooh, we already have that. So we didn't even have to buy it. We could have just grabbed it. Ugh, whatever. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic swapping of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Mm -hmm. The crushed minerals, the farm animals, the vials of liquid mysteries, all these and more are necessary for his experiments. The air is heavy and stale. Some acrid powders still linger in it. Sokolov sees the captain at the helm and the tusked leviathan. What do you see in the stars? Oh shit. Really? Oh my god. Now, hit the alarm. No, take out his. You're going down. 
going down. I'm not taking this one alive. Take it. God. I thought everyone was dealt with. All right, come on, Nick. The royal physician himself. You made a neat job. Man. Drop him here, and we'll be off. Yes, let's get Sucklove back. Chaos High. Five of five, five of five runes, two of three bone charms, one outside a shrine, shrine, one of one, one of one paintings. Well, we missed a bit of coins too. Freed all of Sokolov's test subjects, robbed Pratchett's safe, saved the strange, stranded woman from rats. Okay. Surveillance killed one. Yeah, that maid. <laughs> they set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. They are waiting for me. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I'd like to wind down first and say goodnight to Emily. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in his time. Made that elixir against the plague, he did. Yeah, but... This is him like... Clever man, Sokolov. Look what it led him to. Mm. Okay, Samuel. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> what do you make of all this? Now Derek? that we have Sokolov as a guest, ask him how he deluded the Academy into making him royal physician. Hmm. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? Normally... I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Okay. The blueprint you bought to Pierre unlocks this upgrade, Booth Stealth 1. Okay. 2,180 coins! That's the most we've ever had. We need more remedy. Yes. We have seven, that should be fine. All right, upgrades. Reduced footstep sounds. I mean, we don't, we haven't really had problems being, I mean, that it would be good to get, you know, crossbow range would be good. I'm thinking of doing crossbow range and maybe boot stuff. Why do we only have 10? Why can't we increase? Our sleep dart range. I mean, um, capacity. Does that include our sleep darts? Yeah, it should. But I don't know because the bulk of our bulk capacity is twenty. We did this, but it hasn't increased our sleep dart. 
slave boat capacity. It's only 10 of 10, but the normal ones are 20. So, I don't know. I think we'll leave it for now. Um, actually, I was going to consider maybe buying a rune, but I feel like that takes the fun out of it, you know? Like, I don't know. I find it a bit thing that you can buy them. Could you, as a favor, try and leave him intact for me? He's There's intact. There's just a part of his theory on voltaic action I need clarified. Mm hmm. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress. But only an exhausted child at the moment. A grieving oh child? She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. You look like- she looks like an elf. Like from Dragon Age or something. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. Let's raise her together, Callista. <laughs> Please. What? All right. Okay. What if I play? What if I play this? There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's old Let manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No. Proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rack, ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretender using paper and little things she's found here and there on the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Let her be humbled. It builds character. Alright, good night, Emily. Mwah. Good night, Callista. Mwah. <laughs> yes, Cecilia. Mr. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. Thanks, Cecilia. Corvo, can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it. But I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Cecilia has a key stashed under her bunk bed. It opens an abandoned apartment across the street from the pub. I know her voice. Um, she, I think. She, she that I think she's that girl from New Vegas, the tutorial girl. She has a dog named Cheyenne. I remember that, but oh, her name is on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Oh, I, I can't remember her name. I know it, but I just can't remember it right now. I think that's her. Oh, hey Wallace. Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. Okay. It concerns the departure of his brothers. Mm. I'm sure you understand. I want you to know I understand your actions with regards to Custis and Morgan. They were horrible men. Lord Pendleton shares little with his brothers, other than name. The stories I could tell you about what my lord's older brothers did to some of the staff, especially the maids. Oh my god. It's beyond my station, but I must say they were beasts, dressed as nobles. Lord Pendleton will return on the morrow. Okay. Thanks for the Attention, news, Dr. Wallace. Hi, Martin. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Piero thinks of our guest. 
I still wake up thinking I'm in the stocks. Mm. The nurse made Callista is quite fetching, huh? Or maybe I've been in prison too long. I'll sleep like the dead tonight. How long are you in okay? <laughs> Oh, look at his arms. They're like... <laughs> Havelock. Bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting block has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defence budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep the City Watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noblewoman who is prepared, who is perhaps his mattress, mattress, <laughs> who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up more information. Just we, as we know, if the watch doesn't get paid in coin and in elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. I'll take that. I have luck. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. Good. Give me a length of rope and a bucket of seawater. That's all I need to break a man. The royal physician has a subtle mind. He may attempt to trick us. He's only a natural philosopher. How tough could he be? <laughs> Good work, Corvo. Get some Thank rest you. and we'll take a crack at him tomorrow. Bit chaotic, but... I didn't want to kill those, uh, those last people. I wonder if it still would have been high. Probably. Probably still would have been high. Who are we kidding? Entry three? Yes. He is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project, project, project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon, the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. Oh, so that was... we didn't... Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause. And I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Well, many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. Is this new? We're getting closer to reaching our goals, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Why not? <laughs> Good night, Havelock. Good luck, Martin. Hi, Lydia. La di da, di da, di da, di da, di da. La di da di da di da 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 la di da da da. Beautiful. Oh, how do you do, sir? Oh, I apologize for my state. I could use a long soak in the bath. So relaxing. What a treat that would be, hmm? Lydia, compose yourself. <laughs> You're a bold one, Master. I have Clark. a girlfriend already. Searching the royal physician like that. Her name is Callista. That poor man. I hope you won't be too rough with him. Ugh. All right. Oh, an apple. Yes, please. 
Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 41, in which I bed two of the Boyle women and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. Oh my god. <laughs> it was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. <laughs> mm hmm I I I get it. I get it, Pendleton. I mm hmm Oops. Oh sorry, I forgot. Good night, Lydia. Mwah. That was a hard mission. That was pretty difficult trying to navigate through everyone but it was so much fun i love this game so much i'm having a lot of fun chaos chaos high as usual i try i'm trying you see me try but i just ah uh, it's hard <laughs> but i'm having so much fun i love it a lot i hope you're enjoying the series thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.